The Sandra Moon Complex has now completed phase three of renovations and today's unveiling was a gift that couldn't fit under a tree. Our Ken McCoy has the story. Councilwoman Jenny Robinson says the goal of the Sandra Moon Complex was to create a community hub. And with the addition of this new park, not only do they have a place to gather, they also have a place to play. So we have been making lists and checking them twice here at the Sander Moon Complex. The residents of South Huntsville are getting an early Christmas gift. First thing on our list was a library, a really good library where everybody could come and have a good time and learn new things. Can we check that off the list? Yeah, we're going to check that off the list. Then we had, we had pickleball courts, 12 pickleball courts, new tennis courts. But there is something else. What is it that we need to check off the list here? That thing, the completion of a new park being opened at the Sandra Moon Complex. This has been long awaited. There are no playgrounds in this area north of Weatherly Road. So it's a great addition for the neighborhood, but it's also a great addition for the Sandra Moon Complex. So this is part of phase three. It's Parking lot was standing in, uh, additional parking around our pickleball courts, uh, additional landscaping and irrigation that's out here, and the playground is all a part of phase three. Councilwoman Robinson shares how this addition adds to the overall goal of the complex. For many years, decades, people came to Grissom for events, whether they were sporting events or performances of the band or the choir or the theater, and this now gives us an opportunity to create another community hub where the community can come and gather and enjoy athletics and performances and go to the library. And there's more to come. We have the Performing Arts Center that, that we're going to be working on for the next couple of years. The old Grissom High School Auditorium that's going to be completely renovated, new dressing rooms and storage space. We have the two gymnasiums that will open. We already have office space for performing arts groups that they've already moved in, the old band and choral space. So there's, there's still a lot to come here. For Fox 54 News, I'm Ken McCoy.